the service. Up next, we have uh, Dr. Nicole Kendall. Dr. Nicole M. Kendall is currently an assistant professor at Tennessee State University in the Department of Teaching and Learning. In addition to being an online mentor, course developer, and instructor for the Tennessee a Regents Online Degree Program. Her primary focus is training teachers and students on how to incorporate technology within the classroom. Please welcome Dr. Kendall. To be or not to be? Are you proud of you? Do I know me? I have an interesting topic for you to focus on today because as I was being observant, many of you have a smartphone, a genius phone, a kind of sort of want to work phone, and you were Twittering or Facebooking or looking at sports scores, Michigan lost. I know that uh, Knoxville is playing, again, Michigan lost. I'm, not, I'm from Detroit. So one of the things that you need to understand is who you are. The topic of my presentation is Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde because you're all lying to yourselves because none of you by choice would be here on a Saturday afternoon during the height of football season, all dressed up in cute little boots. I say, get this picture of the boots. Um, you wouldn't be here normally and you're here either by force or by choice and I won't raise your hand and ask you why you're here, but some of you know that this is not the choice of location on a Saturday afternoon going into Saturday evening because some of you have dates. Don't play with me. So this is what you need to understand, youth of America, parents of America, as I proceed through my conversation, that we have a dilemma that we're fighting with ourselves. See, the person on the left is cute and my mother likes her because she pays bills and she's out of the house and she can't come back. But the person on the right likes to shop and so these two people can't ever meet because right now we have a generation online that don't understand that you have to be mindful of how you social network, that you have to be very mindful about the breadcrumbs that you leave online because I'm in a room of leaders and parents of leaders and teachers of leaders and you need to understand that people are watching and they're watching more than ever before because just like the Disney movie and the, the, the stories of Hansel and Gretel, you are leaving breadcrumbs like never before. You are leaving a nasty little virtual DNA that tells me a lot more than you are typically willing to admit. See, this person on the left right here, she's a professor at Tennessee State University. She has a lovely 401k, and again, her mother will not let her move back home. The person on the right, she loves wrestling. The Rock was supposed to be her first husband, but that didn't work out. He didn't know it yet, but I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. The person on the left, she likes to read and play with technology. The person on the right, she loves Greece. I love you, John Travolta. Hey, hey. But what you need to understand is, in the middle, we're not used to letting our social networks meet and merge. Teenagers of America, you need to watch how you act and communicate online. Your church friends were never meant to meet your club friends. Your parents weren't always supposed to meet your, well, they weren't always supposed to meet folks. But see, your virtual DNA is information that you put online. See, when we used to do those little kid riddles and say, knock, knock, who's there? You know, we always had something funny to say, but in 2010, knock, knock, who's there? It might be your future employer. Knock, knock, who's there? It might be your future spouse. Knock, knock, who's there? 10, 15 years from now, it might be your children. And what little nasty breadcrumbs, rotten breadcrumbs, Hansel and Gretel breadcrumbs, may they find out about you. Knock, knock, your college might be looking at your virtual DNA to find out how well you would possibly represent that college or institution online. Parents, you have to start having that conversation about the breadcrumbs that your children are leaving about you. Because 10 years ago, all we had was our name. Ten years ago, I was always representing the Kendall family legacy, a legacy of proud individuals, of educators, hard workers, union leaders. I told you I'm from Michigan. That's all they did was work for GM. No silent jokes about GM. But I had my name, and I had to stand by my name. I worked through all of my degrees to proudly represent my name. 
but youth of America, parents of America, are you talking to your students about how they are representing you online? And how that reputation of your name, your grandchildren's name, will be represented years from now. Google has already done the research that has said this year that today's kindergartners will have to change their name by the age of 18 because they will have left so many negative, nasty, kind of not Kim Kardashian breadcrumbs out there that you're going to have to change your name. Your name? Really? Because nowadays in Hollywood, we like to do a lot of transformation. And unless you're in the Twilight series, I know Harry Potter came out, but work with me. But I know when Twilight came out, see, we like Team Jacob. I'm with Team Jacob. Team Edward, hold it together. But we're dealing with a lot of transformations. We make jokes about people that can't find themselves. Michael Jackson, I love you. You made Thriller. But come on. We don't like it when people can't figure out who they are. And if you are going to be a leader in this 21st century, if you are going to make an impact for all the presenters that have spoke before me and all the presenters that will speak after me, you have to be right with you. So ultimately, at the end of the day, when you sit here and you try to inspire yourselves, when you try to go out into your communities to inspire others, you must first look into the mirror and make sure that this above all to thy own self be true. Thank you.